Let me show you how to carry out a live move with shaft align touch. What we've done so far is we've carried out a shaft alignment measurement with the shaft align touch based on which we have shimmed the motor. That is, we put 1.2 millimeter under both back feet. We put 0.9 millimeter at both front feet. Subsequently, we've carried out a remeasurement, the result of which we can hear in front of us, or better, which you see to my right up here. So what we see is in vertical, we are good already. We are even excellent. The results for gap and offset show in blue. What is left to do is still the horizontal correction of the motor. In order to carry out this, we want to use the live move function of shaft line touch. I press the red button on the lower right side. Subsequently, I'm asked in which direction I want to carry out the move. I go for horizontal as vertical we have shimmed already. The green fields are what we call the 45 de degree positions. We go in any of them, so I go into the 130 position with the sensor line 3 sensor and the prism. The live move starts automatically now. I start the correction with opening the four screws. In order to make it a bit easier for us, I still go into the 2D. So on the right side of the screen, I press on the 2D button. Now you see that the motor needs to come towards you. It says 146 mm at the front feet and 2.31 at the back feet. So I'm moving now the motor away from me towards you and you see that we are being shown what I'm moving live as the values are moving accordingly to what I'm moving. I'm almost excellent now already. It says okay already you see we are green. I moved a very little bit more. Now we are blue. So now we keep it as it is. To finish the move, I fix the screws again. You see also tightening the bolts has a consequence. I stop the move by pressing the white tick on green ground. You see now on the lower right side, all four readings basically would show in blue. But as usual, we carry out a remeasurement after a move. So I'm moving the sensors into the starting position for the active clock measurement. You see, we rotate in machine run in direction indicated by this white arrow. I press the M in the middle, automatically a first reading is taken. I go to the nine o'clock position. Automatically a second reading is taken. And 30. Automatically a third reading is taken. You see the fans turn into yellow now. We could call the result already. But as we wait to go, we do this. 12 o'clock. All measurements taken. We are green with the fan color already. One more position. And another one. Three o'clock. So 
see I'm a, I need to turn a little bit further in order to be in the sector. And the last reading is taken. I stop the sweep by pressing the buy tick on the blue ground. And the result we can see now is that both in vertical and horizontal, all readings of our alignment condition at the center of power transfer show in blue. And now we are ready with the correction, both vertical and horizontal for our motor. I hope I could show you the principle of the live move function with shaft align touch. <laughs>